phone, share password, credit card and debit card, pen on WhatsApp. To know more watch this video, link will be in the description. Hey guys, welcome to yet another video on Tech Daily. And in this video, I will be talking about 10 hidden Android no goods, 7.0 features and tricks. So let's get started. Instead of using an app now at night to pull less strain on your eyes, the night mode comes with Android Nougat which is hidden. So in order to enable it, you will need to download this app named as Night Mode Enabler from Play Store. As soon as you download it, so once the downloading is done, just click on open. And you will be taken to the system UI tuner and hence to the night mode option. So now you can toggle it on. And as you can see that it just switched to the night mode. Here just giving the screen a warm tint and you it feels better on eyes at night in low light. You can toggle it off also. Like this and there will also be a toggle in the notification center as you can see night mode and you can toggle the night mode from here as well. Mention this in one of my earlier video too but many were unable to find it so till marshmallow you could not change the dpi setting you could but only after rooting your device but now you have the option in the android system itself you just need to go to settings scroll down to display like this opening up display you just need to go to display size and as you can see now you can just preview on the left side of the screen and on the right side you can just change the dpi setting with this slider as you can see it on the screen one of my earlier videos i showed you that you can jump between the recent apps just by clicking on the multitasking button twice but it works in split screen mode too. Have a look. So it makes the multitasking very fluid and fast. Now here comes the system UI tuner of Android Nougat. To enable it, you need to go to the notification center press the setting logo for 10 seconds until it starts rotating and will give you a haptic feedback then release it you will you will get a message saying congrats system ui tuner setting is unlocked now you just need to scroll down to system ui tuner settings now the number one thing is the status bar option Clicking on it, you can control which things to be displayed in the status bar. You can toggle it on or off as you wish, according to your wishes. The second tweak that System UI Tuner offers is the Do Not Disturb option. As we all know, if we keep decreasing the volume, at the end it will show to enter the do not disturb option but you can just toggle it off by clicking on this by toggling this off volume button shortcut and you can also enable show with volume controls that means every time you will tap the volume button like this the do not disturb thing will be shown and you can toggle it on or off according to your needs Then as a third option there is a others folder and in that we get two more tweaks. Yes the number one is enable sli uh, split screen swipe up gesture. If you toggle it on then you can just swipe from the multitasking button up and you can enter the split screen mode.
coming to the second feature here which is known as power notification control entering it you can toggle it on or off and then below there is six levels of notification level 0 being no notification from the particular app and level 5 being every notification you can get you can set different levels for each apps individually like this like just toggle it on then go to the apps anyone like Amazon scroll down to notification settings click on A first and then you can set the levels the furthest will be the level 5 and this one will be the level 0 like never show notification from this app so that's pretty good the eighth feature in this list to make every app compatible with split screen you must have seen this notification with several apps that this app does not support split screen as in this case we have the studio app which shows the notification app doesn't support split screen but actu actually you can force them to work in the split screen here is how to do it go to settings scroll down to about phones scroll down to the built number and press 7 times if you are not a developer and if you are a developer already go to the developers option scroll down to the bottom and just toggle on force activities to be resizable the ninth feature will let you say goodbye to all the third party call blocking apps as now it is inbuilt in the native dialer app click on the three dot button on the top then move to settings then you can see a option named as call blocking then here you can add the desired number which you can block. All the texts and all the calls will be blocked. Let me show you by entering a random 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 0 at the end. And just click on block. Now every phone call will be blocked from this app. You can unblock by clicking on the X button here. And just click unblock and it will be unblocked. The last hidden feature for this list is regarding the data saver option. Go to the quick settings and long press the data saver option. You will be taken here and then just press on data saver. If you want you can turn it on but you want to enable the background data consumption of some selected apps like WhatsApp and Gmail and rest of them you want to restrict. So how to enable WhatsApp and Gmail separately like turning off the data saver first on then go to unrestricted data access and then just select Gmail and toggle it on and then move to WhatsApp and toggle it on. Now it will be whitelisted and no restrictions would be, would be applicable on these apps. Here is a poll on the top right corner of the screen whether you liked this video or not. Answer honestly. That is it for this video. Like, comment and please 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 subscribe to this channel. This is me Rahul from Tech Daily bidding you a bye bye.